What is something that has been eating you up inside and you just need to get off your chest anonymously? I witnessed my best friend drown in a terrible accident. Alcohol was involved. My best friend's parents asked me not to go to the funeral services but wanted to hear the story a mere two days following the funeral. I have yet to share my story with them I don't see the value at this point. It brings me anger almost every day because they asked me not to go to my best friend's services like I was the bad guy. I have cancer. Just found out on Tuesday. How the hell do you tell people? Like, should I just blurt it out? Am I supposed to call people or can I text it? A few close friends I did call, but they didn't answer, so I left them a message to give me a buzz. They haven't called back yet. When someone who doesn't normally call you and does, call them fucking back. I detest my job so much that it takes an enormous effort to show up every day, and I think I have a drinking problem but drinking is one of the few joys in my life. I don't remember the last time I laughed really hard and I seem to be unable to find a hobby that I like. While I can't help with the laughter, if you're actively looking for a hobby I suggest going on YouTube and just watching people do things. Cooking, carving wood, showing off their bug collection, playing a strange instrument. There's so much obscure, interesting shit on YouTube, and I can't tell you how many times I've seen someone do the most random things, like maintaining their personal beehives, and thought to myself, fuck, that looks cool. For some examples, personally, I like to watch woodworking, blacksmithing, airsoft, guitar, longboarding, and reptile videos. It's videos like that that inspired me to own three guitars, assemble my own longboard, and own a chameleon. I'd do woodworking too if the tools weren't so pricey. Look around, I know you'll find something that gets you excited. Girlfriend left me after eight years. We were high school sweethearts. For a guy she met two weeks prior. I don't really feel anything anymore. It makes me not feel human. I feel like I'm going going through the motions and everything is just a distraction at this point. After my first girlfriend broke up with me I hated waking up in the morning. I had to find a way to kill time until I was tired enough to fall asleep again. But being awake felt like a dream too. Horrible, horrible time in my life. It doesn't hurt anymore. I look back on it and feel sorrow for myself for having been through it, and maybe for how I handled it, but it doesn't bother me. You've heard it. I'm sure someone said it to you. It just takes time. Absolutely nothing else will do it. How long varies, but it will heal. I disconnected contact with my mother at the beginning of last year, and then she and her husband went on a campaign of sending me abusive and harassing messages by using different numbers and creating new social media profiles every time I blocked them. I feel like I had a malignant tumor removed. The true confession part of this is that I'm relieved not to be saddled with caring for that toxic old bitch or cleaning out her fucking hoarder house when she dies. I don't want to live anymore. I don't necessarily want to die. I just don't want to live, if that makes sense. I'm tired of trying and it going nowhere. I'm tired of dumpster diving for scraps. I'm tired of hearing about how happy everyone is when I'm scraping myself out of bed in the morning. I feel lonely. It's not that I'm alone per se, just the people in my life suddenly seem so superficial and distant. Scrolling through social media especially, I get a feeling of disconnect because of how artificial and impersonal everything is. I hate this feeling of disdain for people I should genuinely care about but I'm worried that if I ignore it, I'll be sacrificing my own authenticity. Maybe I'm just a bad person. Fear of never finding somebody who I love and they love me. I want to leave my wife but I don't want to lose my kid. Just make sure you don't lose your kid anyways because you stayed. My dad is slowly but surely losing me and my siblings because he insists on being married to my mother and she is a rather toxic human being. It's getting to the point that while we love him, it is not worth having her in our lives. As much as I love my dad I have also always lost some respect for him because of how badly he allows her to treat him. My best friend has no love for her father, and it is largely because he has stayed with her mother who constantly talks mad shit about him, and makes him to blame for every issue in their family. Those two should have separated a long time ago. They did not and now the mom takes out all of her pent-up bitterness by poisoning the father-daughter relationship. Depending on your situation you might actually save your relationship with your child by not sticking to a person relationship that is bad for you. Edit. I will also say that my best friend, my siblings, 
and I have all had some extra difficulties in the relationship realm of life because we had such flawed examples of adult relationships. Kids pick up on a lot more than people realize. So much of our parents' dysfunction was obvious and confusing to us and really fucked with how we approach and behave in relationships. Sometimes, staying for the kids can do more damage. I have been letting my life self-destruct the past year after my best friend died and use a disgusting amount of drugs to cope with it. It's been two years and I feel incapable of getting over my ex. I've tried to date so many other people but never feel anything close to that connection I had with my ex, even on our first date. I've tried to hold out. Not everyone will spark right away but they seem to fall for me and it pains me to hurt them in the same way I've been hurt. Not something I've got anyone to speak to about but taking steps to get some professional help. Four years ago, I was in the same position as you. So honestly, I know that nothing I'm about to say will make you feel any better. But I'm gonna say it anyways. I fell in love young. We had a turbulent relationship for about two years, but kept talking to each other even after we called it off for good. Eventually, we decided to stop talking at all. It took me six years, more or less, to get that girl out of my head. The connection we had was something that I've been searching for ever since we broke up. It almost seems incomprehensible that I could ever have someone know me that well and feel for me in the exact same way that I felt for them. It was intoxicating, and in my case, toxic in general. She consumed me, more or less. The long of the short of it is, I meandered through life and never really let myself move on. She did the exact opposite. I found her on Facebook a few weeks ago, and we got to talking. For a little while, the spark was back. I felt high again, but I quickly realized something as we caught up. The girl I loved was lost to time, and the version of me who truly loved her was lost as well. We became different people, not for my trying, and there simply wasn't any way for us to ever be as happy as we once were. She had a brand new life, and I was discontent and living in an epilogue to one long past. It wrecked me for a little while. I suffer from depression as it is, but this just made it worse. Eventually, though, I realized that holding on to something that's already gone is a waste of the present. My ex managed to move on, find love, and chase the dreams we only talked about when we were kids. It hurt, but it sort of jostled me from my complacency. I was happy for her, and I wanted the same for myself. I had to let myself move on in order to actually get over her, and that meant that I had to confront that fact that I was in love with a memory, and not a real person anymore. The past is past, after all. I let her go, and for the first time in nearly a decade, I've started putting myself out there. I wallowed in self-pity for so long, and I isolated myself for fear of never finding love again. Little did I know, I was basically ensuring that I wouldn't. It's been painful as hell to let go but I haven't felt so alive in literal years. Anyways, this post is running longer than I anticipated. I just needed to tell you that you can move on, and you can take steps toward finding love and happiness again, but you need to find the strength to do so yourself. That being said, it takes a strong person to love so deeply that they pity forsaking their feelings at all, so I'm sure you'll manage. Honest. Just take it from me. I'd sooner have made the first step two years out as opposed to six. The past as we remember it, is a lovely place. Unfortunately, we can never go back. If you expend the effort that you do in trying to something else, you may be surprised at how strong you really are. I've come to the undeniable realization recently that many of the people around me like my family but don't really like me. My brother is for whatever reason extremely likable. I'm a girl but I see a lot of resemblance personality-wise between us, and people just gravitate towards him but are only cordial towards me. I want to quit teaching and pursue other opportunities more ideal for an introvert like me. A boring office job sounds great, but I have zero transferable skills and right now this teaching gig is letting me pay my mortgage and student loans. Every day I have to fight my anxiety and deal with unruly teenagers and toxic coworkers. I want out. Teacher here. I have also wanted to quit for years. The amount of meetings, paperwork, prep, money, blood, sweat and tears that goes into this profession is crazy. I hate the fact I have to work to work. I have to spend all this time preparing to even teach which is a whole job in and of itself. I fantasize about a job I can do and then go home and just be. Don't get me wrong. I actually love my students. It's the only thing that really keeps me in it. But I want out too. 
I think I need a therapist. I have one. It changed my life and I've never felt better or so stable in my life. At first I was scared. I didn't want to know what my diagnosis would be. I was afraid I would be treated differently or like I was crazy. Then I was angry, pissed that I wasn't, normal, that I needed, help. But I did need help. I also learned coping skills, how to deal with past trauma, navigation for my present. Medication saved me, gave me hope, afforded me a clarity I've never experienced as an adult. I won't say it was easy, but it was worth it. If you think you need one go, worst case scenario, you have to fight the good fight exploring the right therapy and meds to be free, but a good doctor is going to get you to the promised land. When I was 22, my dad died. I was absolutely destroyed by it. Recently my mother told me he wasn't my real dad, some other guy was. He's still living, married to the same woman he was with when he stepped out with my mother. He and I have connected, hit it off, I care about him, etc. I have two siblings who didn't know I existed, his wife didn't know either. They all just found out, and shit hit the fan. Now his wife has forced him to dial back his relationship with me. Siblings have not reached out to me at all. I was a dirty secret for a bit, and now I'm a burden to his family simply by my having been born. I have a wonderful family, had a great daddy who died too early. I feel guilty for my interest in my biological father, he is my bio, had that confirmed, and I'm drowning in shame and guilt over what his family is going through. I know none of this is even remotely my fault, but I feel bad just the same. I miss my daddy, I want this other new dad, I have my amazing siblings, and I want these new siblings too. I've lost so much of my identity in such a jarring way, and now I'm grasping at what is left of me and fucking hell I'm so lost. I'm hurt. I'm so damn hurt by it all. School gives me anxiety now. I just want to stay in bed all day. I've always been the perfect kid, the goody two shoes, the A plus student and I really don't want to disappoint my parents but I want to throw up just in thinking of waking up and going. Being a great student is a lot of pressure. You may feel like there's nowhere to go but down. That kind of stress can be very tough in a kid. I hope you can talk to someone and find the support you need. In 21, never had a relationship, or even been kissed. Also didn't have any friends from age 10 upwards. I am so lonely but at this point I prefer the loneliness I know to things changing. Change freaks me out. I wasn't kissed until I was 25. Today, I'm married. You're gonna be okay. Everyone always told me that, and I always thought yeah, but what if I'm not? It didn't mean much coming from PPL who had serious relationships starting as far back as high school. I wish someone who had been in the same boat had told me they understand. Hopefully I can be that person for you. I understand. You still have so much time. It's not a race. You are gonna be okay, and that's a promise from me to you. I'm your mom now. Come get a hug. Do you have a similar story? Leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this one.